Ms. Legalista here. Welcome to the video. And we're back to talk about the rally in Pennsylvania. Some new information coming out, um, I guess, in the last few hours. The former White House physician has now said that his nephew may have been injured. Let's take a listen. There are some very lucky individuals who are not. And now we are learning of one of them. Congressman Ronnie Jackson, you might know the name. He is a congressman from Texas, but he's also known as the former White House physician. He was the physician for Donald Trump while he was in office and for Barack Obama while he was in office. And the congressman says tonight that his nephew was one of those injured. Here's a statement from Congressman Jackson, Republican, Texas, quote, my nephew was injured at the Trump rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Thankfully, his injury was not serious and he is doing well. My family was sitting in the front near where the president was speaking. They heard shots ringing out. My nephew then realized he had blood on his neck and something had grazed and cut his neck. He was treated by the providers in the medical tent. Thank you to all those who have reached out to check on him. Please join my family and me in praying for all those who were injured and the life lost. The president and the survivors are lucky to be alive. That coming from. All right. You heard that. So his nephew was attending this rally. And here's the thing. If you've been to some of these rallies, you look around most of the time, it's generally mostly adults. Sometimes there are events where they're having them at schools or things of that nature, where you may have more younger people in attendance. A lot of times though, you have mostly adults. Even then, they bring family members with them. I have done that before. I've taken my daughter, who is no longer really, really young, but I've definitely gone to rallies with her and had her with me. And there have been instances where <laughs> things got a little chaotic. Nothing like this. Nothing like this. So we are still praying for the country. We're praying for all of these families that were involved in this incident in Pennsylvania at the rally. And we're hoping that his nephew is going to be okay. I can imagine though, that this may be a lot for his nephew to take in. And that as a young person, this is probably going to stand out with him in his head as this sort of experience that he went through as a young person going to this rally. And years from now, he will remember this experience and what happened, it will definitely leave an imprint. So hopefully he will be able to get the treatment that he need. He needs not, and not just physically, but all encompassing comprehensive treatment that he may need and that he's able to process and heal from what he went through while he was attending this rally. Thankfully, it sounds like he had family members that he was there with who are able to help him through this. But this was a tragic event. And again, we are praying for everyone. If this update keeps you up to speed, brings you up to speed, keeps you up to date, I don't even know what to say anymore at the end. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Mwah. Peace. From Congressman Jackson, the former top physician in the White House. So each president is assigned a, a doctor to them that just focuses on treating the president of the United States. For Donald Trump and for Barack Obama, that was Ronnie Jackson.